Welcome back to my reaction channel. Today we're going to react to Thousand Year Blood War Bleach Greatness Core 2 trailers. You guys uh, sent me the links and uh, I was thinking whether to react to it or not. I was like, mm, maybe there's gonna be a spoiler or something. And then I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? Trailers are made for us to watch before the actual thing comes out. It's a sort of a thing to get us hype and all that. So. Fuck the spoilers, bro. I'm watching this shit, bro. I'm sorry. I'm too hyped. I want to see what to expect from this uh, second core, right? So I'm here for it. You guys are excited. And yeah, that being said, I ain't gonna pull out this that much. If you enjoy my reactions, you know what to do. Let's go. Okay. Okay. Successor. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn off the the subtitles. I'm gonna go back from the beginning. Uh, Looks like our boy Uryu is being made into a successor of the Quincy King. Yo, yo. Ishida Uryu. Watashi wa kono mono wa ga kouke sha ni shimei suru. Okay. Aitsu nan nan da yo. Dare ga setsumei shite kure yo. Betsu ni kuttara nai. Konda tatagai oishiku mo nan tomo nai. Boku wa subete to ketsubetsu shite koko ni kita. Zanpaku to moro to mo kibou wo tataki ori. Shinigami domo no mi ni kokoro ni shin no haiboku wo kiza ni komasu. Nasake nai no. Sen nen mo no heiwa ga shinigami tachi wo yowaku shita. Yatsu ra wa kanarazu mata kuru. Tokunai mirai ni na. Kibou ni michita atataka na. Utatane no gotoki tatakai wa koko de owaru. Yo! Hey, yo! I'm sorry, but I forgot that Ichigo only trained with those two Squad Zero members, right? The girl that replenished their strength with eating, and then he... Oh, the guy with the Zanpakuto, the original creator of the Zanpakuto is the third guy, right? And he just passed his test by getting the dual sword, so he also... He, oh my god, he has two more... Right, he's gonna train, bro. My man Ichigo is gonna train. Oh, he's gonna be a powerhouse, bro. Who the hell's gonna beat him? Did you see the table of the Quincy's, bro? It's like Espada all over again. And Uryu is joining them. And one of those Quincy's is pissed that Uryu just waltzed in here and just, right, jumped over the pecking order and is now being named the successor. Yeah, looks like there's gonna be some trouble amongst the ranks of Quincy's, right? Some jealousy and all that. But why? Yeah, Uryu is definitely Uryu is special, bro. Just like Ryuken. And I, I, my theory is Ryuken is gonna have to get involved and Ryuken is gonna turn out to be even stronger than the Quincy King. I think Ryuken is gonna stop the Quincy King to save Uryu. I'm calling it. That's my theory. You heard it here first. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> what the hell? My man Kuretsuji turned into a sunflower. My man completely embraced the inner nature of a sunflower. What the hell was that? My man was glowing like a freaking man. <laughs> Let's go! Bruh. Yeah, that means Yo, yeah, yeah, yeah. That means you and Ishida are enemies, bruh. No, no, I'm not buying it, bruh. Uryu is not dumb. He was always smarter than the right than everybody else in the group. And he was he was also the first one that recognized that, that was a Quincy. 
that these are Quincy's, right? And now my man's gonna go and embrace his heritage and become the successor of the Quincy King? Bro, no, 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 no. Maybe if he's brainwashed, but on his own volition? How can he just disregard his friendship over the years that he built with a Soul Reaper, aka Ichigoat? There's no way. And we know that Ryuken didn't influence him to hate the Soul Reapers. He just let him do his own thing. Just like Ryuken. He's doing his own thing. I'm telling you. <clears throat> I'm telling you. Ryuken is going to stop uh, Uryu and the Quincy King in the end. My man's going to turn out to be a powerhouse. Because Ryuken is on the down low, right? He's, and we know he's very talented. He was gifted when he was younger. And we like never even saw him like do anything all these years with all this, these conflicts. So after in the end, I think Ryuken is going to come out and be like, I've been training for 27 years for this shiz. And then he's going to be OP as hell. He's going to, that's my theory. Ryuken is going to defeat the Quincy King in the end to save his child. Uh, Uryu is definitely sus if he's going to turn out the Soul Society. Kuratsuchi uh, completely embraced the Soundflower Seed, which is crazy. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, we saw that all the captains they were training got an upgrade. Like, right? We just saw Asaji with a completely different Bankai, and Soifon also was hella confident. And yeah, all the captains were fighting again. So this is gonna be. This is literally war. I'm just gonna load the second trailer, and then we're gonna finish this off. Let's watch dishes. Onshiniwa. いなんだって超えてやるさ。だからこそ。勝つが我が I've come to save you. Yo, I'm telling you. True desperation is yet to come, bro. I'm telling you, Uryu is infiltrating them from within. I'm telling you, he read something in that book that he ma that his master left behind. It was probably something along the lines of only a Quincy, a true-blooded Quincy can kill the Quincy King or some shit like that. Maybe that's why uh, Yamamoto wasn't able to kill him a thousand years ago, only seal him, right, for a thousand years. And uh, yeah, I think uh, the successor part is going to have a double meaning and then like the successor as in you gain the power necessary to defeat the Quincy King because only a Quincy can defeat a Quincy and that's what Uryu is doing bro that's my theory there's no way what he said what why are you doing this why are you what are you doing standing there Uryu and my man said like I'm saving your life bro yeah he's recognizing that Ichigo can't defeat him but there's no way bro Ichigo is gonna train with the squad zero I forgot that this is only a part of his training getting the Zampato back getting the Bankai back he has dual swords that guy is gonna train to be stronger than any soul reaper that ever lived and you're telling me that's not gonna be enough to defeat this Quincy King bro we need a soul king here we need a soul king to destroy this bitch bro my man is just sleeping around over there man the soul society and the world of the living is gonna get evaporated if you don't like, right it, it only makes sense if he's the Quincy King, maybe he should face the Soul King. That's that's my opinion. This was hype, definitely. Nah, I mean, sure, some mini spoilers uh, about the designs and all shit, right? I, I understand where this second core is gonna right go, but I'm still very hyped and I don't feel spoiled at all. I just feel like I want this core to come tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, they're definitely gonna go all out in this season. There are how many cores after the second one? Yeah, we're gonna be spoiled for the next year and a half. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I really enjoyed the first core too. I'm gonna create a separate video about that. 
talking about what I liked, what I didn't like. Yeah, there are parts I disliked too, but uh, so far so good. Definitely Bleach greatness all the way. That being said, I ain't gonna this that much. I really enjoyed these trailers. I hope you enjoyed the reaction, and I'll see you in the next one. Stay safe, love you, enjoy, and bye.